Hey, what's up, y'all? We're back with another one. Let's check this clip out. I've probably been there saying some more crazy ass shit, man. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. You know what's crazy? I my plies. But, like, we ain't going for no Trump slander, bro. You need to go in and tight that down, bro. You can get off that shit, fly. Like, Trump ain't doing nothing to you, I mean. You feel me? You rich, bro. You rich. That's yeah, all that, love. Cause shit get muffy so boy. That shit get muffy so in him. <laughs> Did Joe buy? Hey, Joe, listen, listen, listen. America proved to me last night what I already knew. What I've been trying to tell you. America is not trying to vote for Donald J. Trump. They don't. They hate him. And I'm gonna tell you how I know they hate him. Because they still not willing to jump ship with you off of your performance last night. They hate him. Trust me when I tell you that. Joe, everybody tuned in last night to watch you spank his little bad. They tuned in to see you discipline him. And you ain't disciplined him last night, Joe. You might have talked to him and yelled at him a couple times. But you ain't spank his little bad ass last night like everybody wanted to. You debating the kid, man. Trump is like the bad kid in the neighborhood that nobody likes. He cuss all the grown people out. He kick over all the trash cans. He always start commotion. They love to see him be disciplined. They take joy in it. Trump stood on that stage last night, Joe, for an hour and 30 minutes. And all he did was tell a lie. And everybody knew it. He answered not now a question last night. Because he ain't got policy. He don't care about it. He sat up there and told America last night, hey, listen, I'd rather be doing something else. I, I don't rather be here. I'm here because you was doing a bad job. How in the hell is he here because you were doing a bad job and you were in the White House because he did a bad job? Joe, listen, and trust me when I tell you, when they ask you, what do you have to tell the black voter who's struggling right now? Joe, all you had to tell us was, Y'all are the reason that I'm here. Y'all got me here, black folk. And in return, I got y'all. That's it. Joe, yo, you would never be the most fluent, 50-year-old, well-spoken president. You just not going to be that. And America has accepted that from you. That's cool. Trump and his people right now ain't celebrating because he did a good job. They celebrating because you didn't fit in him last night. You let him off the hook. Come, it's time for you to get in that superwoman booth, get that cape, and bring your ass out here. And if you ain't willing to do it, come, I'm ready. I want to thank y'all so much for tapping with me. And if you stay till the end, I appreciate y'all so much. And make sure to like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next videos.